what if this was an inside job, guys? Let's just... What if someone has come in and rather than it being our fault for making a stupid mistake with the with the teleporters, what if it's some kind of sabotage? Dun dun dun! Well, it's getting dark, so I'm gonna oh, we're gonna go for it. We're gonna have a look. And there's TNT. There seems to be quite a lot of it. Um. Oh my god! Yeah, there's blocks and blocks and blocks of the stuff. Ugh. I don't really. I don't. Oh god. Oh. I don't really. I'm really worried. Hang on, I just had a chocobo. Oh my god. Oh my god, how much TNT? Wow. Um, look at this place. Oh my god. This is incredible. These redstone torches should not be this close to this TNT, like, at all. That is super dangerous. Whoever did that is an idiot, because that's, that's really not... Oh look! Hang on, prisoner two, golden chocobos. Guys, it, it's it's the golden. Oh, oh dear. Okay, we're gonna have to go and find some safari nets because these guys are gonna need some support. And oh, guys, is this is it really you, staff cow? Oh, staff cow, are you okay? Are they me treating you okay? You look like you got full health, so I think you're okay. Are these are the golden chocobos okay as well? One of them's got one damage. And one of them's okay. They've been dropping some feather feathers, though. Oh, man. This place. Look at this. This is absolutely insane. Look how many bookshelves there are. I need some more. Oh, look, I had the one lemon left, which I've now eaten. I don't want to eat that. So we bring this. We get, we get into, like, serious trouble. All oh, this TNT is crazy. But there's a lot of a lot of glowstone bricks down here, which we, can, we might be able to use, actually. Hmm. Okay. Well, I guess... There, I mean, this is a lot of books. There's probably they're probably quite useful. Let's have a little. Let's have a little look. Um, how to blow things up? Okay. Dangerous. Um, setting up a chain reaction. Okay. This is sounding a bit dodgy. Harvesting creepers volume one and volume two. That had to be a two volume thing. Apparently, it's quite difficult. So I'm having a blast. Gunpowder blueprints. Where the best sand is. How to be evil for dummies? Guys, this is really scary. I'd Redstone basics. More redstone basics. Well, I mean, redstone is pretty complicated. Redstone is complicated, huh? Yep, yeah, well, that, that's weird. That's what I just said. It is, it is super complicated. And redstone for dummies as well. That's a good book. I mean, you, you've got to have redstone for dummies. Making lots of books. Making it look accidental. Making it look like an accident. Really? Super important yoga. Well... I mean, everyone needs a book about yoga. That's pretty important. And wearing pretty dresses for men? Really? Oh, okay. So we're looking out for a for a crazed criminal mastermind who wears pretty dresses and is a man. There's an anvil here. Why is there an anvil here? I'm taking that. I'm taking it. We could always do it with an anvil. And there's a printing press here. Maybe all these books are, are like ones that he's printed. He, he, she... His 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 dressness. Let's uh, let's have a little sit down. I'm a bit okay. Staff cow, golden joke of O's. I'm gonna get you out. I need to go get some safari nets. I'm gonna have to see if I can find some at Seri's place. <sighs> right. Okay. I guess there's a book here. I guess we should probably give it a read. Page one or two. Instructions for detonation of Jurassic World. Oh my god. Number one. Make a buttload of TNT. Well, I think. I think they succeeded in making a buttload of TNT. They didn't use it all. Number two, put TNT all around each of the exhibits and to free dinosaurs. Hang on. Does that mean they're some kind of dinosaur-like peacekeepers? We weren't hurting them. We were, we were making them... They were all captive bred. There was, they wouldn't have survived in the wild. Number three, set up redstone. See books. Well, they, we've seen that they've got all those, those different redstone books, which they needed to use. Four, detonate, which I think has already happened. I'm pretty sure that the, it was this guy that did this to us. Number five, escape undetected. I guess maybe we missed them? Maybe they've already escaped? Oh god. Okay. Second page. Don't forget! It is vital that you remain undetected throughout this mission. Kaf and Seri cannot know about the division. 
and its investors. What? You will receive your diamonds when the mission is complete. Do not fail me. Oh my god. This is crazy. I... Hmm. Okay. I don't want to lose this book, so I'm going to, I'm going to sign it. Um, super secret plans. Because oh, I want to go show... I want to show this Seri. Oh. Pla super secret player. Uh, hang on, I'll just, I'll just use secret sabotage. Secret sabotage. Now, I'd, obviously, you can, you guys have said on camera that I have signed this book, but can I get the, can I? I just want to, whoa! Oh god, things are going. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to break. I'm gonna, I'm gonna break this, this desk. Get up here, desk. Get at it. No. How do I, how do I just take this off? Oh, there we go. Oh, dear. Secret sabotage. Now, it does say by calf, but you guys saw me sign it because I wanted to make sure that we couldn't change it at all or lose any of the, of the information on there. And let's see if we can... Is it all Is it all still there? So it looks like secret sabotage. Blah, 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 blah. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, do not fail me. Okay. So it sounds like this mystic... We don't know the name of this person, but this person was hired to blow up the zoo cast, Jurassic Park, here, and I guess... They did it just as we went through the teleporter, so that the we. Okay, well that makes sense, I guess, because that means that they didn't manage to bl blow up the visitor center because it's teleported into the new world. But does that mean that? Oh god, that person could be in the new world because the teleport was open and working. Oh god, staff cow, chocobos. He's left. He's left here. There's some really scary... I like the fact that there's like ladders here, so you can go up and you can check like other books up nice and high. That's a really sensible way of doing it. This person is cunning and sensible and a, an evil mastermind. I'm so scared. Um, right, okay. Guys, I'm coming back for you. We're going to come back. We're going we're gonna to head upstairs and we're going to try and find some food to start off with, but then we're going to head over to, to Seri's place and see if we can find some safari balls. Unless I've got some safari balls in my one chest in the graveyard. I'm not sure if I have. I'll have to go and double check. It is definitely raining though. It's definitely dark and definitely raining and definitely a horrible horrible day. But that's fine. It kind of suits the mood because I cannot believe that this was an inside job. I mean we haven't the only, people, the only people that I've had recently who, who have been here, who I kind of trusted on instinct, was Lubot was here. And, and Lubot, I mean, Lubot, he seems okay. He, he was being a bit weird, but I don't think that necessarily means that he's killed anybody um, or, like, blown the whole place up. There was this Rappolus guy who actually I haven't seen since. Hmm. I wonder if maybe Mr. Rappolus is, is to blame for all of this. Could be. But then again... He doesn't wear pretty dresses. He wears a dinosaur outfit. So I don't think it's him. It was saying before... I'm going to put these up here so I can put some food in my pockets. Um, it was saying something about a man who likes to wear... Wait, one of his books was about wearing pretty dresses. So I'm going to go with the idea that if we see somebody who's wearing a pretty dress, chances are a man that's wearing a pretty dress... Chances are that is the person that we're looking for. And we're going to have to keep an eye out for them. Because, my God, I can't believe this. This is incredible. It doesn't change the fact that we're going to have to fix all the problems that have happened. Because, But now we know we're actually fixing someone else's mess. Hmm. We've got these combustion engines which we can use with the filler. Which is good. I'm going to put this one here. Uh, we need to put the... The guy is back on the on, on Donator Road, which it will be doing very, very shortly. We've still got a lot of this dirt left over, actually, which is good. Um, now, let's think about this. Now, we don't have any, any anything that we can use there. So, I guess what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to go this way and head down to, uh, to Seri's place and see whether or not we can get together some safari nets so we can go and save Staff Cow and the two Chocobos. I mean, I know that technically I could probably like fly the two golden checker boats out, but there isn't. It's very closed up in there. And to be honest, I don't really want that place to stay there. I kind of want it to be blown up. And there's a whole lot of TNT in there. So I think that's a perfect opportunity to just blow the hell out of the place. Um, because because I can, I guess. Because I have the abilities. Oh, 
there's a little bit of snow here. Ah, so relaxing. We're still, we're still in a situation where that little bit of road has been broken. Um, but I think, as I said before, I think I'm going to change all this up anyway. So there we go. Get back to full speed again. Warp, warp speed. I kind of want to do the the walking through the water tunnel path thing. I'll do that. I'll do that for next time. I'll try to remember to do that off camera because again, that's like one of those tasks that's really boring, and you're not going to want to see that. Let's get past this boar. Here. Okay, we're here, and everything seems to be going okay. It looks like. Let's uh, let's head up the way that we normally go. Really wrong and 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 not the not the right way to go. We need to make a path really to, from the uh, the station of New Zedestia. Hello, who's this? That's oh, JJ. Hey JJ, I'm just gonna get past you here, buddy. Ah, oh, there's some apples in that tree. I might take those. Ow! You've been watching the Gaffcast. We hope you have enjoyed the show. Don't forget. Get to check out all of our other videos. Oh, and be sure to subscribe to us if you like what you see. That way, I'll know to make more and that you really like me. So, you've been watching the Gaffcast. We hope you have enjoyed the show. Don't forget. Get to check out all of our other videos!